Hello and welcome to World Now on TVC News. We begin the World Now in Bangladesh, where Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has resigned and fled the country after anti-government protests in which hundreds of people have been killed. Reports say she and her sister have been taken by army helicopter to safety. Ms. Hasina's whereabouts are unclear, but she's thought to be heading to India. Huge crowds of cheering protesters stormed her official residence in the capital, Dhaka, despite a curfew and internet clampdown. At least 90 people were killed on Sunday in clashes between police and protesters, taking the death toll in recent weeks to more than 300. The bloodshed is some of the worst the South Asian country has seen since it came into being in 1971. The student protest began in July was called to abolish civil service job quotas, but spiraled into demands for Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to quit after over two decades in power. Now let's turn attention to the UK, which is also embroiled in protests. The Prime Minister, Sir Keir Starmer, has announced a standing army of specialist police officers to tackle violent protests in towns and cities. The Prime Minister says criminal justice will be ramped up following an emergency response meeting with ministers and police chiefs. Routers on Sunday set fire and broke into hotels used to shelter asylum seekers in northern England. We have details in this report. The violence was triggered by the stabbing of three young girls in Southport, Northwest England, earlier last week. The far right has seized on and spread a wave of disinformation, including false claims that the attacker was an immigrant to mobilize anti-Muslim and anti-immigrant protests. Police say the suspect was born in Britain. Protesters on Sunday vandalized and set ablaze two holiday inns in northern England, one in Tamworth which had previously been criticized by a local politician for housing asylum seekers and another in Rotherham. In Tamworth, protesters threw projectiles, smashed windows and started fires, injuring one police officer. British Prime Minister Kay Starmer has condemned the weekend's violent protest which saw at least 147 people arrested since Saturday night. He warned that those involved in violence will face the full force of the law. I utterly condemn the far-right thuggery we've seen this weekend. Be in no doubt, those that have participated in this violence will face the full force of the law. The police will be making arrests, Individuals will be held on remand, charges will follow, and convictions will follow. I guarantee you will regret taking part in this disorder, whether directly or those whipping up this action online. The UK's policing minister on her part has said that there will be a nick-them-quick approach to far-right rioters who have caused unrest, but added there was no need to bring in the army. And what we're very clear about in government is we support the police. We want them to take all the action that they can to deal with this violent disorder. Where you've got uh, police forces coordinating together, training with the same public order, street disorder techniques. Uh, it's the police's resp res responsibility to respond first. And currently they've got the means to do it and they will make sure that people are safe. The violent unrest is a worse sin since the riot of 2011 and provides a huge challenge to the Labour government of Case Tama just weeks after it won power.